All right, graphing a piecewise defined function. So you're going to be given these this function, and it's broken up into at least two pieces. So this is saying h of x is equal to a negative 5 when x does not equal 0. So that's for all the other x values besides x equals 0. So usually what you have is a line with some kind of hole here. Okay, and then um, what you're going to have here is h of x equals a negative 3 when x equals 0. Okay, so I'm going to rewrite this in terms that you probably recognize. So I'm going to replace h of x with y. So we're saying y equals a negative 5 except when x equals 0. Let's go ahead and just graph that line. x could be anything, y always has to be a negative 5. So if x is 0, y is a negative 5. There's a point. And so I could pick x is 2, but y has to be a negative 5. So there's two points on that line. And then I can just go ahead and connect these values and draw a line. And I can just continue that all the way across. We want to um, put a hole there when x equals 0. So x is 0 is right here, so we're going to go down and put a hole on that line. Okay, And then we have one other part to take care of, and that's this part right here that says um, h of x equals a negative 3. So I'm going to write that as y equals a negative 3, and that y equals a negative 3 when x equals 0. And so that's just a point. That's the point 0, negative 3. And so we're going to click on this um, filled in circle here, the closed point. And we're going to go over here to x is 0, y is a negative 3, and we're going to put our point there. Okay, there we go. And so that's your answer for this problem. In this example, you can see there's three parts. So um, g of x equals 3 when x is less than a negative 2. Okay, so you're basically going to graph the line y equals 3 for the x values that are less than a negative 2. So that's not, there's no equal to part, so that means we're going to have an open circle at a negative 2. And less than negative 2 is going to be to the left, so we're going to graph that line to the left. Okay, so I'm going to do an open circle when x is a negative 2, um, y equals 3. And so there's that point there. And then, so we can pick a value that's less than a negative 2, so example like 4. And um, 4, when x is 4, y would be 3. Now we need to put actually just a point somewhere along here. And then we can connect those points. I'm going to start from the open circle and go to the left side. All right. And then we're going to take the next section here. So g of x equals a negative x plus 1. So that means y equals a negative x plus 1. We're going to graph this line for the values in between, the x values in between 2 and a negative 2. Okay, so this is going to be a um, filled in circle because of the equal 2 part at negative 2 and a um, open circle when x is a positive 2. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these boundaries. So when x is a negative 2, I'm going to plug this into my um, function here. And so a negative, the opposite of a negative 2 plus 1. So that's going to give me a positive 2 plus 1, which equals 3. So when x is a negative 2, y is 3, and it's going to be a filled in circle here. So let's do that. So x is a negative 2, y is a positive 3. Now it just so happens that it's going to take this same spot. That doesn't always happen. Okay, and then we're going to come back here and replace um, the x value with a positive 2. So the opposite of a positive 2 plus 1. So that's going to be a negative 1. So that is going to be an open circle. And so we go to a positive 2 and a negative 1. And now we're going to con connect both of these points here. All right, and then our next part is um, basically y equals 3 for x values that are greater than or equal to 2. So 
um, basically when x is equal to 2, y is going to be 3, so we're going to plot that point. Positive 2 and a positive 3. And then um, we can pick another value um, to the right of this value, so like, let's take a positive 3. So when x is 3, y will be 3, because y is always 3 for that line. So we're going to connect those points. This is the graph of this piecewise function. This um, piecewise function is only defined from a negative 2.5 to a positive 2.5. And um, it looks like really kind of scary, but it's actually not too bad. So basically you're going to um, graph um, this equation, so y equals a negative 2 basically, y equals a negative 2 in between these two values. So start with this x-coordinate, it's going to be an open circle. So when x is um, a negative 2.5, y will be a negative 2. So x is a negative 2.5, y is equal to a negative 2. And then over here this one's going to be a filled in circle. And so this is going to be when x is a negative 1.5, y will be a negative 2. So x is a negative 1.5 and y equals a negative 2. And then you're going to connect those two values. Now we're going to do the next interval. So y equals a negative 1 for these x values. So start with this interval, open circle, when x is a negative 1.5 y is a negative 1. Okay, so when x is a negative 0.5, y will be a negative 1 as well. But this one's going to be a filled in circle. So x is a negative 1.5, y is a negative 1. And then we're going to connect those two points. All right, and then um, so we go to the next one. y equals 0 for these values. And look, these are both, so, for, so from a negative 0.5 to a positive 0.5, the y values will be 0. So we're going to go ahead and then we're going to be open circles for both of those. Negative 0.5 and a positive 0.5, the y values are 0 here. So we're going to connect those. Draw the line in between the two. Okay, and now we're going to the next interval. So in between a positive 0.5 and a positive 1.5, the y value is 1. That's a filled in circle because of the equal to part. Positive 0.5, y is 1. And then when x is positive 1.5, y is 1. Open circle. Connect those two. OK. So then we have the last value, y equals 2, for these x values. So when x is 1.5, we have a filled in circle at 1.5, 2. 1.5, 2. And also when x is 2.5 and y is 2, we have an open circle. So 2.5, 2. Connect those. This is called a step function.